is up you guys this is the lego boss coming at you guys with another lego review today we're looking at lego video bandmate series one this is set number 43101 it's recommended for your seven and up and it has 11 pieces each and retails for 4.99 each and each of these boxes come with one mystery minifigure for those of you who haven't watched last week's video i said that lego video is basically lego's version of tiktok where you scan these Legos along with their beat bits and then you make your videos with them and then post them online. It's very cool and I've tried it out. And if you don't know, I have a Lego video account called Sergeant Soft Rizzo. I'll leave the name in the description below. Go check it out. And you know what? Since I'm feeling so happy, I bought two more. So let's open these up. All right, I got my knife ready. Let's open these, this first pack up. So, uh, here we are. Let me. And inside is. Oh, it's the, uh, what's his name? The DJ Cheetah. Yeah, that's his name, DJ Cheetah. So here is DJ Cheetah. Now, like for my other review, I really like how these figures are very cool and wacky with a bunch of cool printing and designs. Starting from the new molded headpiece, he's got a bunch of printed blue spots all over his face, as well as this dual molded blue hair piece that is on top of him. Going down to the torso, he's got a really cool necklace and this jacket. Going down to the back, he's got this tail piece that attaches to the hips that can be moved up and down. It's got blue spots as well. Also, I really like the detailed pants and how it's all printed and has a cool shine. And his accessory is as well his DJ record because he's a DJ. He basically stands on top of this base that makes up a bunch of beat bits. Two of them are randomized and one's exclusive like this one here with a guy dancing. Let's move on to the next box. And it is. Oh, it's the alien guitarist. So here is the alien Kitaris. Now, he looks very cool. Starting from the top, he's got this really cool molded, dual molded uh, antenna and hair piece, but not just the antennas are made of rubber, but the entire hair is, is rubber too. I could just squish it right here. Continuing on down to the face, he's got one eye and a cool smiley face. And continuing on down to the torso, his t-shirt shows a bunch of planets and, and as well as the back. And he's got really cool leg printing that from that continues down from the shirt to the legs. And his accessory is of course his guitar. Just like from the DJ Cheetah, they, they sit the, the bandmates sit on top of this bass piece that holds up three beat bits. Two of them are are common and randomized, and one is exclusive, like this one here, showing what appears to be a minifigure being mutated. All right, let's open up the next box. And inside is... Oh, this is uh, the genie dancer, whatever her name is. Hold up. So here is the genie dancer. Now, she looks very cool. Starting from her hair piece is the reuse of this normal ponytail hair piece, but in hot pink. If you remove that, you get a better visit look at the torso printing on the back that continues on to the front. And she's got this, the reuse of this genie leg piece that has a lot of cool printing that has a nice shine to it. And her accessory is a really cool instrument here. Forgot what the name is. Please comment what it's called. I forgot it. And here are two beat bits that are randomized. And this one here is exclusive, I believe. Or, I don't know. I, this, this is kind of new to me. Okay, down to our last box. Hmm. It's kind of damaged. Let's see what we got. Ooh, another DJ Cheetah. Like what I mentioned earlier, e these figures have randomized beat bits, but one of them is exclusive, like this guy dancing here. So what do I think of this minifigure series in general? Well, I have one minor complaint with this. 
I really don't like how they come in these boxes. Like, I can't even feel for the right figure or tell if I have any duplicates. That's one minor complaint I have with these. But as for the figures themselves, they are very cool and detailed. Like, each of them have a unique design. Also, an exclusive uh, beat bit and two randomized beat bits. That way you can have in your collection to use in your LEGO videos. So what are your guys' thoughts on this set? Please leave a comment down below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to The Lego Boss, and I'll see you all in another Lego review. Bye-bye.